the way the Democrats apparently think they're going to save democracy is through TikTok. I saw this week... <laughs> Joe Biden had uh, eight TikTokers to the White House with a combined following of 67 million hmm. followers. Uh, and uh, he talked to them, and one of them uh, said, a lot of the creators, they call themselves creators, I love that. <laughs> influencers, you know, you know, uh, talked about how they didn't get a lot of civics education in school. They were excited to learn about the structure of government. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the problem. You know, if we were starting at, okay, here's how to register to vote, but we're starting at, this is what government is. <laughs> I mean, we're so stupid in this country. Another one of the kids, uh, Nia Su, she's, uh, uh, she has 8.3 million followers. Um, when she talked about the midterms, they thought she was talking about the midterms at her college. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I just think when you're trying to get the young people to vote, you've already lost the election. Uh, I just don't think, I don't, you know, young people in this, do they, do they, they vote in Israel, the young people? Yes. Yeah, because they they're do. also pressed into military service and they're just more, much more I don't know, You look what's happening right now in Iran with the young people uh, rising up against one of the most oppressive regimes yeah. in the world. Sure. And I think we, we should give some respect to yeah. the young people too. Well, traditionally, 15% of them vote in the, in the midterm election. 15% under 30. So... I respect them 15%. I mean, yeah, I mean I that sounds that... about right to me. Like, for, like three out of 20 have a brain in their head. And the other, I mean, they have brains. It's, it, I mean, it's we have let them down. I mean, we don't teach anything anymore. But I think it's also a lot of them think that tweeting is politics. They think if they're tweeting, they're engaging in politics, they're expressing their views. They're not actually getting to the, to the ballot box. And the problem, again, with the issue about civics classes is back to this idea of Gen P, that if you live in your own world, on cyberspace, with your phone, you think you can literally fashion it around you as you want, and the idea of boring government full of grown-ups and adults telling you how to live and imposing a structure on you just is so 20th century. Right. And, and that's a problem. Right. I mean, every generation has to find a way to say to the people who gave them life and sacrificed their entire lives for them, fuck you. <laughs> right? Yeah. And just do the opposite. 